In this video, I'll show you how to install the ARM version of Ubuntu on a MacBook. Unlike emulation, this runs through virtualization, giving you near-native performance. With this setup, you can install Linux tools, run various applications, and experience a smooth, efficient workflow. No matter your use case, this method lets you harness the full power of Ubuntu on your MacBook without compromise. Let's get started. First, we need to download the ARM version of Ubuntu. Open your browser and search for Ubuntu. Go to the official download page. Click on the Server tab, then select Alternative Architectures and choose ARM. You might be wondering why we're downloading the server version. That's because Ubuntu's ARM version is only available as a server image. But don't worry. We'll install a graphical interface later. Now we also need to download UTM. It's a free application that lets you run different operating systems on a Mac or iPhone. After downloading both, install UTM like any other Mac application and launch it. When you open UTM, you'll see an interface like this. Click the plus button to create a new virtual machine. Select virtualization, then choose Linux. On the next screen, click browse and select the Ubuntu image we just downloaded. Next, click on Apple virtualization and continue. Allocate at least two GB of RAM to ensure smooth performance. For storage, assign at least 20 GB. I'm allocating 36 GB, but you can adjust it based on your needs. You can also set up a shared directory to access files from your Mac, but I'll skip that for now. At this point, our virtual machine is ready. You can rename it if you'd like, then save it. Now click Run to start the Ubuntu setup. If you see this screen, your virtual machine is set up correctly. Select Try or Install. Choose your preferred language and keyboard layout. You can navigate using the tab key or arrow keys. On this screen, check the box for third-party drivers using the space key, then continue. Leave the next two pages as default and proceed. Ubuntu will now perform a mirror location test. Wait until you see Test Passed. Once the test is complete, continue. Leave this page as it is and move forward. Now you'll see a summary of the changes that will be made to your hard drive. Confirm and continue. Enter your name, server name, and password. Skip the next page and continue. You can also skip the SSH server setup. We don't need it for a graphical interface. Keep the remaining settings as they are and proceed. Now the installation process will begin. This may take some time. Once the installation is complete, reboot your virtual machine. If it gets stuck during reboot, force shut it down. Before starting it again, you need to remove the installer image. Scroll down, click on the external drive, and clear it. Now you can launch Ubuntu Virtual Machine. Log in using your credentials. Since this is the server version, there's no graphical interface yet. To install a desktop environment. First, update the system by running sudo apt update. Once that's done, install the necessary packages. I'll provide the commands in the video description. The Ubuntu desktop environment will take some time to install, so be patient. Once the installation is finished, Reboot your machine and start it again. This time, you'll see the graphical user interface. Complete the setup and start using Ubuntu on your Mac. 
One last tip, you can install SPICE tools to manage DPI and improve display settings. I'll include the installation commands in the video description. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.